Oh yeah. I didn't know about this interaction at all. So all the excess damage we got from Star of Extinction, we can just send to face. But did not know it worked like that. Hey, how y'all doing today, guys? Today's story brought Commander's Agar, the Freezing Flame, a legendary giant wizard that whenever a creature or planeswalker an opponent controls dealt excess damage. If a giant wizard or spell you control dealt damage to it this turn, we can draw a card. So this is basically giant and wizard tribal. Uh, our giants are going to benefit from one another. We have cards like Quakebringer that at the beginning of our upkeep, Quakebringer deals two damage to each opponent. This ability triggers only if Quakebringer is on the field or if it's in our graveyard and we control a giant. Granted, we don't have but one copy of Quakebringer, so we can't stack multiple of these triggers, but the plus two damage every turn is pretty nice and can stack after a bit. Uh, especially if we have cards like Calamity Bear, that if a giant source we control deals damage to a permanent or player, it deals double that damage instead. So we can turn that tier to a four. We also have cards like Priory Emancipation that allows all of our sources of damage to do, do triple damage. So we're going to easily be able to go over a lot of our opponent's creatures which should net us a few cards and with cards like fire emancipation it makes lightning bolt do nine instead of three so that would also get us a call but a lot of times we might send this more at face uh just to quickly kill our opponents before they can get their stuff going so our early games mostly draw spells and counter spells to keep us up and then mid game we have more stuff to kind of start setting up the, our side of the field either through doubling our damage getting land on the field making spells cost cheaper like with goblin electromancer makes instance and sorceries cost one less and then in our late game once we get there we can start taking extra turns we can bounce our opponent's field we had an arcane bombardment to start copying a ton of spells every turn or when we cast our first insurgency or sorcery spell each turn we have div miss it for every time we draw a card we can send one point of damage to any creature which also you know with fire ant emancipation that turns one to three we also have cards like star to extinction as a field wipe and because it deals 20 damage a lot of times that's more than enough to kill anything so if we had agar on the field when we brought this down we could draw a few cards even off of it and then we have cards like magma office and expansion and explosion just a you know variety of uh cards to take advantage of all the spells and sorceries we were casting so I'm going to leave it at that, and we're going to get into a few matches and see how this all plays out. Alright, we're going against Obnixus. We have... I think we have a decent hand here. I think we'll keep this with Brainstorm and Lightning Bolt. I know Titan and Star of Extinction is very expensive, but we'll see what else we draw. I mean, this is the first time I've gone up against Obnixus as a uh, commander, too. I imagine they want to sack Cursebound to Ob. So, we have two things we can do. We can see if they do like Calcides and if I'm making of this right should be able to kill whatever they choose to sacrifice before they can eat, actually sacrifice it Scrap Heaver can't attack a block I 
I really rather than not have priests of the forgotten gods though, so killed that. See if they do anything. They might sack curse bound in their scrap heap. Alright. And then we'll brainstorm them. Let's keep a it doesn't really matter which what we keep. We'll do it like that. We'll play our commander, though it may get bounced, so maybe we don't. So let's just play Giant's Amulet and keep up opt. Legion War Boss. Final land right now. Maybe we get rid of Legion. We'll just keep our mana up. See how they play. Because if they go for Av, we might be able to destroy or kill whatever they choose. Alright, let's go ahead and get rid of that. Pay for two. Depending on what they play, we can play our commander, then equip giant amulet to it. Give it a hex proof. This is in that they choose to boss Cassidy. Join my coin or, or die. carnage. Tribute is owed. And if we can drop fire giants furry. I really try to make sure. Make sure we can get to Star of Extinction. That's about the only way we really can get out of this. If we can get another land drop, we can go for Titan next turn. If not, Primal Amulet. And depending on how they swing in, we can also, uh... Go ahead. Plead for mercy. We can also draw a card like this. Can't block, it's a creature. So, this is fine. Draw a card because of that. Alright. So, we can have... Giant wizard come in. Or, and we can either search our library or we can do four damage to any target. Feel like we should do that. How close are they to being able to... Well, if we start to extinct so next turn. One, two, uh... We just need to get rid of some of the stuff on their board. I don't want to get rid of Curse Bound because I'll just give them something. So I guess we'll just get rid of Asylum Visitor. I'll draw another card. That's a really good one. So, 
or we just decline. Tribute is owed. A blitz in to Nasus Underdog. That is fine. We will block like this. Unless they discard a card. So let's glimpse into the cosmos. Or Fresh God's Fury is pretty good. And then we can just glimpse again. And we can pull Kurtland Elementless. And we will act like this. Oh, give it up already. Cause I don't care that that they uh can uptick ob. I honestly I'd rather not kill it just cause they can replay it and then they can get essentially double triggers every turn. Until we are able to get rid of it. Uh, <laughs> I do not think repeat it is, is gonna be of any use here. God of Furry is pretty good. That's also really good for them right there. So we will um, block like this. We gotta figure out a way to get rid of Demon Lord before that gets crazy. We can... We can kill Ob, or we can just start to extinction and destroy the Hive of the Eye Tyrant. Hmm. Or do we have lethal if we put Fiery Emancipation down? They would have to block. But then we would be left open. Uh, yeah, I think we just have to go for Star of Extinction. We also have Dinner the Bugbear. I'll cut you down. Oh yeah, I didn't know about this interaction at all. So all the excess damage we got from Star of Extinction, we just sent the face. I did not know it worked like that. All right, we are going up against Lord Xander. I think we keep this. 
and play this song red. Play that on island. Next turn we can play our commander. So that's if they don't really do much. Alright. See if we can eat a removal spell. We can Soaring City. Or as our land drop next turn. Replicant rings, whatever. We get a time warp, just nice. Actually, we'll go for Tolroth. Kind of confused about what they may be doing. Grab a land. We can also just set up for time warp, or we can draw two more cards. I feel like we should keep Toots by example for something a little bit better. So now Agar has Ward. They might have a board wipe here. So it's a windfall. So they can play Lord Xander. I'm not really that worried about it. They time warp for no reason. Mm -hmm. Shadows of Verdict. We will not remove the perpetual effect. Cyclone Summoner will be nice. Because we can bounce Xander back to their hand. Before it, uh... Can really do anything. We're just gonna hard cast. Behold the Multiverse. River Street can also do the same thing. I think we'll take that and see if we can get a land off the top. Alright, it's attack land. We will just let it enter tech. So next turn, depending on how they play, we can Rivers Rebuke. Getting rid of Teach by example. I play Nico Bolas. Praise me. That's fine. We will arcane bombardment. We can also teach by example and electrolyze. Oh, oh, you, you didn't think this through, did you? Control is what defines a master. I uh, don't think time warp's gonna be of any use here. So we just need to discard two cards. So that's fine. We'll do it like that. Great power requires sacrifice.
So we can either bounce all their stuff. Or can we, are we able to get rid of Nico at all? I think we bounce. Let's just put River's Rebuke back in our hand. Or not back in our hand, but in our grave. For command, or Arcane Bombardment. This also gets rid of their Replicant Ring and we get back Jaya. So now they had to play a tap land. Dragon Queen. So. We can play Psycho Summer and just bounce that card back. We can play Arcane Barbarment again, then play Glimpse into the Cosmos. That's fine, we will put two instant spells in there. So, Arcane Bombardment. Let's draw a card. What do we get? We will send that at their face. We will... We can grab Fiery Emancipation. And then not attack. Imagine they play... If they have a land, they could play Nico Bolas again. That's fine. This is just what, whenever you cast... And center sorcery. So, this leaves us with just enough. The uh, poser gets countered. Click to any number of cards, so. And that at face. And we ought to be able to copy it. Ah, uh, we did that wrong. We should have copied and then electrolyze. But as long as they don't gain life, we have a uh, Titan here that can come in and deal four damage to his face, just if he taps out. If I have Bruvac, we can we'll lose. So they go for Nika Bolas. Look upon my omnipotence. So I think we are good. We will not block. I guess they could kill Xander themselves. No, no, no. You came here I guess certainly an elementless. But I don't think that's going to help him at all. Because we can just play Titan. Let's see, now that they... Gave us stuff. Alright, that was gay. All right, we are going up against Valduk. Um, we don't have any.
any red sources. Lightning bolt will be good. So we'll keep this hand. Scry for a land. It's not a land. Oh, Duke's just gonna get super big. We will. Just hold up lightning bolt and bone crusher and whatnot. That's fine, because we can opt for a land, hopefully. We will brainstorm then. There's all our lands. So we'll put these two back. And we will just keep passing turn with Brun Crusher. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of whatever that is. All monitor I'm not worried about right now. So we'll go there, we've we'll got Bone Crusher. And we can just keep up Lightning Bolt for the commander, because once they start equipping stuff to their commander, it gets pretty crazy. Let's see, we have five. Honestly, maybe we just get rid of all monitor now. Before it makes us say that we can't block. Memory lapse. So, play Agar. Ravager deals damage based on how many giants we have, right? Are the greatest number of creatures we could control that have a creature type in common. So, play out giant amulet. Swing in. If we draw a land next turn, we can play Fiery Emancipation. We don't, but we can play Ravager. Get rid of Balduke. We draw a card and we'll swing in. We can even steal Varduk. That's fine. So, yeah. When chant giant you control, when giant's grass enters the battlefield, gain control of target non land permanent for as long as we control. So, we don't enchant bone crusher giant, we'll take a little bit of damage. We'll take Varduk, and we will swing it. Now, if they want Varduk back, they have to kill bone crusher and take more damage. That's fine, we'll take it. That's fine, then we'll just block their battle cry goblin. Uh, we're about to play a fiery emancipation. All right, we're going up against the Gitrog, the alchemy version. All right. I honestly don't know how that card plays. I don't even try to think about it. 
So, Arcane Bombardment is super good. Battle of Frost and Fire is also very good. That's six, but that wouldn't be killed by battle either way. It's hands somewhat better, at least. At least you can draw with Behold the Multiverse. We'll just keep this for now. Yogmal's offering. We get Hall the Storm Giant. We will go ahead and behold the multiverse. Memory lapse is good. But I think we should try to make sure we get a land. Because we don't. from the asses. Alright, we'll play command tower. And let's see, so if they play the commander next turn, we could chaos warp it if we don't do anything. And we can play a tectonic giant. See if we draw land next turn. Elder Gragoroth, just gonna need to go. Really would like to draw a card. But Elder Gagaroff's just gonna get insane. Let's test our luck. That's much more manageable. Mm, there's a land. We can keep up Bone Crusher. Alright, pay Gitrog. We also have Cyclone Summoner. We just need to get to 7 land. We also have Double Vision. At the beginning of each upkeep, if Gitrog Horror is on tap. So it will just decline. See if we can get a way to get rid of Gitrog before that starts going nuts. Storm's Wrath ain't gonna do it though. So. Like we create a treasure and draw two cards. I think we should keep Storm's Wrath and we get rid of Electric Lies. Bone Crusher might not have anything to to do. This myth this is just too good to not keep, I don't think. Same with Ember Cleave and Cyclone, so maybe just we get rid of double vision. But now we can double vision to Storm's Wrath if we needed to, so uh, let's just get rid of Bone Crusher. And we will just have to play this out. 
tapped. And no attacks. Next turn, we can cycle and summoner. So see, depending on what they do, hopefully they go wide. Then the turn after that, we can double vision and then start working from there. Arcane Signet. We will decline. We will take the six. That's fine, because we can exile the top two cards of our library. Magma Opus is nice. I think we'll keep Magma Opus. Uh, never mind, we should have kept the land, because Magma Opus is going to get exiled either way if we don't use it. My bad. So, Cyclone Summoner. Next turn, we go for double vision. Imagine they replay their commander. Blood on the sun. Just whatever. So we have three. Three and three. Problem is Yagma. Target creature or planeswalker under the battlefield under your control. Destroy up to one target creature or planeswalker, and then they exile. So maybe we just go for Niz Miss Miz it, because even though it might get destroyed immediately, well, at least we can draw a card. And I think Cyclone doesn't target or affect wizards. So we draw a card. Send that face. So we will take a big hit next turn. Uh, we one thing we can really do is double vision. And then, yeah, double vision or storm's wrath is going to be good here. What? Well, and double vision too. Because we should be able to get rid of everything on their side of the field. Uh, yeah, they're going to hit us pretty hard here. They play the actual get rock monster. We could get rid of their land while we're at it. Copy that spell. So, well, no, because we don't have any mana to pay. All right, we're about to wipe their whole entire board. So, play out a land. Play out Storm's Wrath. How rude. Forgive me. All right, we'll play out Augur. 
a freezing plane. If they play out get rog again, we can electro dominance. We'll pay whatever it would cost. We also have draw a card if they do. I think it would have been better if they played get rog before they cultivated. But maybe they didn't have enough mana to do both, I don't know. So, need to at least be able to pay six. But if we pay seven, we can draw a card. And then we'll just send that at face. We will play Perfectic Titan. Send another four at face. Then we will play Ember Cleave. Attach it to Freezing Flame. And that's game. I forgot about Electro Dominus lets us cast a spell from our hand for free.